Welcome to Montreal, Canada. This is nightlife. This is what it looks like. We gonna talk to some people, see what goes on around here, see what's good. I got a few questions that I wanna ask. We're just gonna do some random street interviews and uh, have some fun, ask questions, see what the vibe is, see what's good about the city, and see if we recommend it or not, and start it off. Let's go. You're gonna be good, you're gonna be, no, I was just giving you a fist bump. Just, I'm, do, I, I'm, I'm holding, the, you know, I'm a gentleman. I'm gonna hold it for you. Perfect. That's what she said. Did you plan it? No. Can you make that straighter? That job looks hard. You should put your mouth on that. She's just trying to listen to know what to expect. But I have different questions for you, don't worry. Okay, so, welcome to Montreal, Canada. Everyone is saying that this is the spot, this is the nightlife, is it? It is. So everyone is saying that. So we're here to test it out. We're here to see what time it is. She's really worried about the question I'm gonna ask. I don't know. Do you have something to hide? A lot. Are, are you a criminal? No, I can't tell you. <laughs> she's smart. I like it. You see, she's she's not snitching on herself. Look, Zos be with this shit. He be jacking cars. Yeah. He just got a job but made two million off of fraud. What? I try to tell him chill. He kills somebody every day. Okay. Why he got a do rag? He don't got no way. What's your name? Natalia. So Natalia, what's good in Montreal? We have amazing nightlife, the restaurants are fantastic. People are nice, most of them. <laughs> hey guys, this is very difficult questions. Is it? Yeah. Well, the difficult, wait, the difficult question. this is just freestyling, the real questions are here. I, I'm not seeing, like the nightlife is kind of calm, what's going on? What's, what's up with that? This is not the perfect place to be clubbing actually. Have to go to the like the old port. So we're here, like a younger crowd, like sixteen-year-old people go here and like they get in, they pay off the bouncers. So you're giving all the game. That's, what it That's is. low key snitching. I'm not snitching on myself. No. <laughs> oh! So I got some questions here. Okay. Tell me. Um, I know they're gonna be sexual, I know. Why do you assume this? I why, know they're coming. Why people assume there's a lot of guys out here that yeah. are trying to come to Montreal and they're trying to, you know what I mean? They're trying to meet a cute girl. They're trying to, they're trying to get a number or two. You get what I'm talking about? They're trying to trying see to what's- smash. I ain't say that. Why are you gonna say that? Why are you gonna put it like that? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? This is a family channel, obviously. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. If you had to say, like, what is a good way a guy could approach a girl in Montreal? Like, what would be a good way to do it? I would say, don't be creepy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Offer a drink. Okay. Maybe a little conversation. Okay, okay. Like, not touchy touchy, just like, get her a drink, talk to her, be nice. I'm really boring. No, you're not. Why do you say that? All right, no, let's, let's get spicy then. Let's get spicy, let's go. Would you date a guy that's broke? Oh. That you like though? A guy that you like that's broke? Uh, I would, but it, it depends why he's broke. If it's bec if, if it. Damn! If it's because he's a bum and he just doesn't want to work. If you're broke like because you're going through a rough patch, but you're still trying to get a job and whatever, then I would, but if you're broke because you're fucking lazy and you prefer to smoke weed all day and party and spend all your money on drugs, like no, I would not date you if you're broke. A lot of girls say that, but they don't actually do that. You actually mean that? I do mean it. All right, next question. Did you ever date a black guy? I never dated a black guy. Why? There's, I heard there's a, there's a lot of black guys here, there right? There is, there's a lot of black guys. I just didn't... Didn't, didn't come across didn't come yet. Didn't come across. Okay, okay, didn't happen. Okay. See, that's what the problem was. Because I heard him first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Okay, okay. Let's get even more spicy. Okay. Are you down? Are you not down with one night stands? And also, Montreal girls in general. Is it 
popular? Is it not popular? Is it something that most girls don't do? What's up? One night stand? I mean, I know a lot of girls that would do one night stands for sure. And I mean, it depends on the person. Like, if we're vibing, if we're having a good time and you're out of town, like, why not? You, li you only live once, YOLO. And uh, let me ask you one last one. What would be a good first date for you to, like, really vibe with someone? Like, someone take you out on a first date? Like, what would be a good thing that that person could take you to do? Honestly, a guy on Tinder just asked me that Word? yesterday. Word? And it, it was It was me. <laughs> no, it was not you. Bonfire, weed, drinks, and a deep conversation. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I like that. You're not even like... You're not I'm asking... i girl. I like... Are you really, though? I am. Well, thank you so much. You sure you don't want to give them your Instagram? Because they, they, they might be like, Oh, that girl looks cool. I want to talk to her. Or I want to follow her. It's S-K-U-U-R-C-I-A. Follow me on Instagram. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was great. What did you say? Wasn't that crazy?